In our last tutorial, we showed you how to set up your draw schedule, and this time we're going to show you how to score your games. So we're going to go to the Scores tab. If you're not sure how to get there, it's under Leagues. Then click on the name of the league, and then up here, click on Scores. So this is pretty simple. You just click on the game that you want to score, and say one lost, forfeited, conceded, tied, and TBD just means that it hasn't happened yet. So we're going to say one. We can also put in a score. So say roll some one eight to two, and then just click save. And that's pretty much it. So now this game has been saved. And so we're just going to score a few more um, so we can see our standings update. We'll do the first couple of rows. And then if we click on preview here, it'll open it up in a new window. Um, and then you can click on standings and it should reflect the scores that we entered and uh, what their total points are. Now, one thing that I want to show you is that if you, um, there's a full screen option here. So say you were using a tablet at the club that your curlers could walk up to and do their scores with, then they can, um, that they can just all individually come up and, and, and touch the game that they just played and put in their score. Then there's a full screen for that, which just kind of takes over the screen. So it's a little easier to use. Um, also, if you wanted to, give access, say, to a tablet or to the skips that were participating in an event um, so that they could score their own games, um, you're not going to want to give them access to all of your admin area where you have all your financial data and you've set up all your leagues. Instead, what you want to do is create an event manager. And so you do that just by putting in the manager's name and their email address. And then as long as they log in with that email address, they will be able to score score the games or manage other bits of the um, the event itself, of the league itself. So I've already added an event manager here, um, and I've already said he only has access to scores. Uh, but you can give that event manager access to other areas within the event as well. So if you had an event manager for, say, a commercial league, but they were doing registrations through your system, then you could give access to them to manage the league um, while still kind of setting up and managing the registrations yourself. And so we're going to assign scores only to this email address, and then I'm going to log out and log in with this email address. So if I click log out, and then I click log in here, and I'm just going to do send a login link, and I'll just copy the token instead of clicking the URL. And now if I go back to the um, admin area, you'll see that all I have access to with this account is the events. So I can't access any of the financial data or anything else at the club, but I can access just the events that I've been given permission to. Um, so I can come into the Wednesday Night Opens on the details screen here. There's no edit buttons. I can't make any changes, um, but I do have access to the scores because we said that they have access to the scores. And now, so if you set up, um, say you set up like a, um, curling club scoring at gmail.com and then logged that iPad in with that account and then granted that that account access to one or more of your events of your competitions or leagues then you could you could set that on a table at the club or you could hang it up on the wall and then curlers would be able to walk up to it and enter their score um, select their select their the league or or competition um, if you were using it for multiples and then select their select their game to enter a score. So I can come in here now and I can say who won and who lost. And that's pretty much it. So that's how scoring works in Curling.io. And uh, stay tuned for our next video.